Today we're talking about it. All right, guys, many disclaimers before we get into today's subject. It is rated R. They say the F word a lot and a bunch of other choice words. Um, there's a demon clown throughout the movie. <laughs> it's a very violent film. It's dark um, and it's a horror movie. So this is a dark film, okay? When I saw the trailer that It was coming out, I was with a buddy of mine and I said, I'm gonna watch that movie when it comes out because I was traumatized by a, a movie about clowns when I was a kid and I was like, I wanna know what I was so afraid of. I actually thought it was It. Turns out, long story short, it wasn't It. <laughs> But I thought I saw it when I was a kid and it made me terrified of clowns. It's the only movie I ever saw that like traumatized me that I can remember. And so I was like, I'm gonna see that again. I wanna know what I was so afraid of back then. So I went and saw this movie, It, with a friend of mine and it was terrifying. But I was also surprised because when I left the theater, you guys listen to me when I say this, I left feeling hopeful, connected, um, anticipatory of the future and like triumphant. And I was like, I just left a rated R horror movie about a demon clown and I feel all these beautiful, profound, right, good things. What's going on here? And as I processed, I was like, wow, I actually really liked that movie. Um, so before you jump to conclusions and assume that I'm just some horribly demonic, evil, dark, loving, crazy person, um, let's peel back the judgment for a second and let's talk about this. And I wanted to talk about this movie because it really helps accentuate what I mean when, I, when we call this spirits in the theater. Let's talk about what's really going on in a film. So it is marketed as a horror movie because it is, it's a horror movie. It's this demon clown that preys on people's fears and makes them come true and kills people. It's horrible. It's horrible, right? That's all true. But throughout this movie, Pennywise, the clown, who's the bad guy, is painted as evil from the moment you meet him. You already don't like him the moment he shows up on screen. And every scene for the rest of the movie, you know he's horrible. There's nothing about him I want to be part of. He's not attractive. He's not alluring. He's just gross and kind of scary. Um, not scary because, oh gosh, demons can kill me, but scary because it's like jolting and like so creepy. But what I love about what they did with this movie is there was never a point in the film where you weren't sure if the enemy was attractive or not if you liked him better or not, right? That was never happening. It was always very clear. The bad guy was the bad guy. They never messed with it. There was no bleeding of those lines, blurring of them. It was very obvious and very distinct that Pennywise was the bad guy. And so the good guys were all these kids kind of rallying around from the neighborhood, right? And like kind of linking arms to face this demon. And you watch them go on this journey, each of them having their own reaction, their own response to the fears that are being provoked in them from this demon clown, alien clown, whatever. We watch them consistently have to say yes to courage and hope and trust and camaraderie and overcoming as they continue to go through the story in this film. And um, they have all these moments throughout where uh, these kids are having these bonding experiences and they actually highlight and accentuate and artistically display a bonding of friendship with, among this group as they're trying to survive this demon clown terrorizing their town. Um, and also there are lots of hilarious moments throughout as well. The movie is peppered with hilarious dialogue, funny moments, a lot of levity and lightness. It's like beautiful. There's a scene where the kids are playing in this like random water area and it's just them playing and being children. It's like a good two minutes of just childhood. You forget you're actually in a horror movie, right? Because you're just bonding with and enjoying what these kids are experiencing in the sunshine and with each other and it's just so much fun and it's a becoming story, right? Um, and then towards the end, they actually rally together to fight this bad guy. They have to keep bolstering their strength and saying, you know what, I'm not gonna let fear push me around. I'm not gonna let this thing come and hurt other people. We're gonna face this now because this thing will come back. And so they gather their strength, they link arms, they rally together and they face this thing. And when one of them, so the clown was fighting like all seven of them at one time. And when it was focusing on one individual, the fear thing that they were afraid of would come out. And then the kids around them who weren't afraid of that thing would come in and attack the guy while the other person's like kind of afraid. And so we watched them kind of come in covering each other's weaknesses and like bringing their strength to the table when it was appropriate. And they just together rally against this liar, this deceiver and sh like scare him back into the darkness. And they show up and they're like, I'm not afraid of you. The only power you have over us is our fear. We're not scared of you. And then he loses his ability to be strengthened by preying on the things they're afraid of because they choose love and trust and hope and friendship over trauma and terror and isolation. Um, so one, thing I wanted to, one of the things I wanted to point out from this movie is you have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And I would like to propose that actually in this horror movie that's rated R, these kids depict 
courage, hope, love, overcoming, self-control in a very obvious and artistically displayed way that is so contrasted that it's very easy to catch and say yes to. And also in the theater, by the way, while you're watching this, all of us in the audience were freaked out at the same moments when this clown is jumping out to kill people. It's so scary, everyone's yelling. At one point, <laughs> my friend next to me, there was this very scary moment that I actually ended up yelling. I don't ever yell from like being afraid in movies, hardly ever, but this moment happened and it scared me and I yelled and he like ended up halfway like bent over in his seat because we were both so afraid of that moment. It was so funny, like he was genuinely terrified. But in the theater, when all of us as an audience were experiencing that sheer terror together, it was actually a unifying thing in the spirit, believe it or not, I know some of you guys are probably gonna get weirded out by this, but in the room, we actually were all exactly on the same page. That was terrifying, oh my gosh, we're all okay, I hate that clown. We're all on the same page about that and we're allowed to hate him because he is the representation of evil in the story and it's appropriate to despise evil, to be opposed to evil, to hate evil, right? So we all got on the same page repeatedly throughout this horror movie. That guy's the bad guy, we hate him, oh my gosh, we want these kids to win. We were all on the same page. It was such a unified experience in this movie, which is such a strange thing to look at because most people, when you judge films, you actually look at the rating and the content, and whatever, and you decide, oh, this is clearly a horrible movie. But I'd like to propose, yes, there are ugly elements in this film, the film that actually are very much depicted, but none of the demonic, ugly, nasty, dark stuff in this movie is glorified. All of it is shown as being awful and repulsive and something you don't want to be part of. And you're only ever guided to champion and cheer for the kids to overcome this thing. There was a purity to this movie that actually was imparting hope and overcoming and victory in the spirit, even though the package was so grungy and intense. So am I saying everyone should go see it? No. If you struggle with, you know, like this trauma with demonic stuff or, or clowns or darkness or whatever, then it's probably not a good film for you to see. But um, I actually had a couple people from my team go see this because they struggle with clown fear and... <laughs> And I brought them with me to see this movie because I wanted them to like face that stuff and not give it the ground that it had in their life up to that point. And so we actually had a pretty radical like breakthrough on people on my team realizing that the enemy didn't have as much control in their life as they were afraid that he had. And it wasn't as big of a deal as they were afraid it was. Um, I'm not condoning this as a formula for anybody else to go like fix things in their life. I'm saying there's an invitation here because the spirit of this film is actually, you can beat fear. You can beat the enemy, you can overcome this, and there's power in your connection and your unity with your people. That's a beautiful message that's actually coming from the heart of the Lord. That's beautiful and right and good. So yes, the package is horrifying, but the spirit of this movie was beautiful. And remember guys, when you're watching a movie, you're never alone. Remember to like and comment on this video. I wanna know like, what are your thoughts on horror movies, you guys? I know that I said some probably controversial racy things that you weren't super impressed with. Feel free to share some of those thoughts below or if you love it, like let's, I wanna hear. And also um, subscribe to this channel. If you wanna see um, other videos we've done for Spirits in the Theater, you can click on this box to see those. Click on this box to subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell button so you can get notifications when we put our other videos out. By the way, you guys, if you have any suggestions of movies you'd like us to cover in Spirits in the Theater, put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your suggestions.